Actually, what happened was I um, came from New York about 27 years ago. What part of New York? Um, Brooklyn, Williamsburg. That's my hometown. So what happened was I came down to Mountainside. Um, really, it's, it's an interesting story. I came to be a stay-at-home mom, so I wasn't even going to get a job. But circumstances led me to have to get a job. So um, I ended up working here at the Children's Specialized Hospital. I was a part-time worker there doing the purchasing. And I used to come across from the bus stop here. And I used to cross this trail right here that I see every day. All my residents and my friends wave as they go by. And I would cut through the trail to Children's Specialized Hospital. Never thinking that I one day would be sitting at this desk watching those people walk to Children's Specialized Hospital. So I started off in the borough of Kenilworth. Um, they had an opening in the clerk's office and I took the position and I was there for about nine to ten years. And then there was an opening here for a borough clerk and I um, applied and here I am 15 years later. So it's a, a shorter walk then? Oh, definitely. <laughs> you don't have to go through the trail. You cut the trip. No, no, I cut, I cut the trip. <laughs> My name is Martha Lopez, and I've been with the borough of Mountainside for 15 years. February of this year was when I reached that milestone. And I hold several roles here in the borough. So I am the borough clerk, I am the qualified purchasing agent, and I'm also the registrar of vital statistics. So just to give you a little idea of what I do in each area, um, as this, as uh, the borough clerk, I'm very involved with the governing body, so I'm basically the secretary to that, to um, the governing body. And I handle um, all records, I'm the custodian of all records, and really my job is to preserve the history of Mountainside. Um, this office also handles licensing and permits, and uh, all elections are handled through my office as well. As the QPA, I handle all the purchasing. So that can be anything from paper clips to police vehicles. And as the registrar, we register all vital events that happen in the borough of Mountainside. So that can be either a birth, a death, or a marriage. And that's basically the duties that I have here in the borough of Mountainside. And uh, I heard uh, that you used to uh, work at Bell Laboratories. I did work at Bell Laboratories. I worked at Bell Laboratories uh, right out of uh, junior college, and I worked there uh, up until my first child was born, uh, and I worked there for about 11 years. Hi, uh, Jill Good, CFO and tax collector from the Borough of Mountainside. And, uh, what, uh, and what is it that you uh, do day to day? Uh, well, I manage uh, the borough's uh, finances, and I also um, oversee the tax department as well. And how, how long have you been working for the borough? I started, uh, I've been working for the borough uh, 2003 uh, part-time, and I started full-time 2005. So I've been with the borough um, full-time uh, 15 years, going into my 16th. Where do you want to go on vacation when this pandemic ends? Well, I would love to go on vacation in um, Europe. I was supposed to go in Europe uh, for my uh, 35th wedding anniversary uh, last year. It was a dream uh, for uh, us and our best friends. And um, unfortunately, uh, we were supposed to go in April of last year and it got, it got canceled. So I've never been in Europe and I'd love to go there. So that's where I'd like to go when this ends, hopefully. <laughs> It's my hobby, I have to say. I like uh, learning another language. I just love, that's my hobby. Like, and I just, I feel very good when it's the first, the moment that I read the book, the first book on that language. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just in heaven. <laughs> How many languages do you speak? Well, this is my fourth. <laughs> yes, so Albanian, obviously, Greek, Russian, and uh, English. My name is Linda, I'm the finance assistant for the borough. I'm doing the accounts payable, receivable, and help the CFO with any other uh, financial uh, projects that she has.
Oh, that's fine. Okay. Good afternoon, Mountainside Borough. May I help you? My name's Kathy. Yes, I am the finance assistant and payroll manager here in the borough for the employees. Um, I've been working here for about a year and a half. So unfortunately, I was only here a few months before the borough shut down. So I haven't met a lot of the residents here, but I've been speaking to them on the phone. And usually the residents will call me for any tax information, real estate tax information, and I'll speak to them on the phone or call them back and help them out in any way I can. Hey, how old were you when you first uh, came to Mountainside? I was a year and a half old. And I don't remember anything about 1964 or 65, <laughs> but I do remember going to kindergarten. So that was about 67 or 68, somewhere in that area. I'm Glenn Mortimer, and I'm the borough administrator. And what that entails is it's the, the manager of the day-to-day -day operations of the borough. We do help out, I do help out in, in long-range planning, but it's uh, the manager of, let's say, your corporation or, or anything else. Uh, keeping track of people's times, making sure that our reports are filed. As you can imagine, in government, there's uh, certainly no lack of reports to various state levels and agencies, uh, making sure that everybody has the required training so that we're in compliance with risk management. And lately, COVID has been taking up a lot of my time, and that's a, a moving target. It seems the uh, protocols change quite frequently, so we have to change with them. So if people that work for the town travel, we have to take care of that if they ex have an exposure. There's certain protocols for that. And of course, if they're sick, there's protocols for that. And also, as people know, that the borough hall is only open by appointment. Our people will accommodate you. However, people can't just come in and, and walk right in as they had in the past. Invoices? One for, uh, one for the same person, Michael Pandela? Um, somebody who works here was very upset because the squirrels were ruining the garbage cans. So what we did is, a uh, little fun at work, we had made a sign with a squirrel and put a no squirrel sign, the red circle with the slash, so that the squirrel would know that he was not allowed to break open the garbage cans and eat it through the garbage can. And I think it did work. So this is a smart squirrel living here in Mountainside. They know how to read. <laughs> My name is Sue. I'm the deputy clerk here and a deputy registrar. I do licensing, pet licensing, and liquor licensing, and vending licensing, mostly all the licensing in here in town, and also do marriage license and death certificates um, for the state. And I'm here for any questions and help out with uh, mayor and council. And so um, if you need any questions, you need any help, call me, extension 270. Thank you. Have a good day. Done.